Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So you know your girl's been gone, but like I told y'all, I be having life stuff be going on, so I'll be trying to like fit my videos in when I can. But I'm back, and today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this really really cute mullet. Um, yes, this is a quick weave, and I did use pack here. I did show you guys what hair I used. I showed you guys um how I installed my cap and everything like that to protect my natural hair i also walked you through uh walk y'all through the steps on how i installed and styled this quick weave um but yeah if you guys are interested keep first things first you need um the liquid cap and then you're going to apply that to a bow then i'm going in with a black stocking cap and some black strips now what you see me doing first is i'm just taking this liquid cap and i'm just going to apply this over my braids i know i don't got the best of the neatest braids right now but you don't need no neat braids you just need them to be flat okay and you're going to take this liquid cap and you're going to apply it to your entire head you want to apply a generous amount because you want to protect your hair now once you do that i'm going in with my black strips and i'm just going to wrap this around my head just to protect um, my hair even more um now what the liquid cap does it helps the paper stick to your hair so that's what you see me doing now and it's just going to give me an extra you know barrier between my hair and the glue and as you can see, I apply a little bit more liquid cap on the um, paper just so it can stick. You know what I'm saying? And then I went in with my cap and I just um, put that over my hair. I only use one cap since I use a decent amount of like black strips. So you don't have to double your cap up. I mean, you can if you want to, but I ain't need to. So I just used one cap and then I went ahead and cut my ears out because I wanted it to be flat around my head. And then I went in with this. It's like a lace bond glue spray. Um, it's water resistant. So as soon as you wash it out, it's going to come on done. But it helps the cap stick to the paper. And it gives you like a nice little foam. Like gives you like a nice firm hold. And I just went in and set it on the dryer for 30 minutes. And then I just cut off the rest of my cap, as you can see me doing now. Hey, this is what your girl looking like once she went ahead and cut all the extra cap off. Don't mind this little white stuff in the back of my head. I'm just going to use a wet rag and it's going to come right up. Now I'm going to use this pack here. This Empire is a 1B and it's a 16 inch. Uh, I'm going to use this 30 second glue to apply the tracks to my head. And then I just took the tracks and I just pretty much measured my hair. Making sure the tracks are curved. And then I cut two of the same size track every time I cut a track. So it's two of the same sizes, as you guys can see. And then I just pretty much, when I put it in the back of my head, I made sure the tracks was curved going up. Because I want to try to hide these tracks as much as possible. But the trick to doing this mullet is that you want to pretty much fill the entire back of your head with the same size track so i'm not doing any 27 piece hair in the back i'm pretty much taking the long hair and i'm filling the back up as if you would do a regular quick weave but we're gonna stop halfway through if that makes sense and remember guys you want to curve your tracks as you guys can see i'm curving my tracks so i'm curving them all the way up to my ear and like i said the entire process in the back i cut two of the same size tracks so the tracks, just the width of the tracks do get smaller as you go up your head, but I cut two of the same size tracks each time. So after I did two, I did two different sizes and then I did another two different sizes. Do that make sense? But yeah, I just continue that going up my head, as you guys can see, making sure that you curve your tracks. And then as we get closer to the top, we still using two of the same size tracks and I'm doing, making sure that the tracks are going from one point to the other point. So it's still even with the back tracks. Does that make sense? Like, as you guys can see that the tracks are meeting each other. So it kind of look like an invisible part on the sides, if that makes sense. 
But yeah, you're just going to continue this process on up until you finish. As you guys can see, the tracks are getting shorter. So this one is going straight across because I'm pretty much about to close this up. Like that. And as you guys can see, I'm going to take the last track and I'm going from ear to ear. So I'm just measuring it right now and we're going to bring it all the way over just like that. And with this way, the tracks don't come up on the sides. So I'm closing, I'm pretty much closing all the tracks that I just did up. So now I'm going in with the 27 piece hair and I'm taking the longest bundle, the longest length guys. And I'm still using the same brand, the Empire brand. And I'm just going to straighten it. And like I said, I cut two of the same size track. The same thing I did to the back, I did to the front. And I'm just going to curve these to where my sideburns is going to be. So as you guys can see, this one is not going all the way back to the back track yet. I'm just going to use two of the same size webs on the side. And this part is important. You want to kind of get these tracks as close as possible. And I did the same thing to the other side. Now with this one, I'm curving it from the front all the way to the back. So it's going to be curved from the front, my temple, all the way to the back. And when I curve it, the back is going to cover the back track. Does that make sense? Like I'm taking it and I'm curving it all the way to the back and covering the back track, as you guys can see. And I'm going to do it all the way up into this point, and then I'll be back. So once I had went ahead and did that, I went and took my razor comb, and I just razored it. I didn't do too much cutting with the razor because I was I am going in with my um, clippers to just clean it up. But I just took a lot of the bulk off, and that's pretty much what you see me doing now. So now I'm going in with my Nairobi mousse and I'm just going to lay them sides down because baby, I need them to be flat, okay? And then once I lay them down and they dry, when I go in to like clean it up with my clippers, it's going to look super, super flat. So make sure you don't forget this step, okay? Because this is very important to get your sides to be laid, okay? So starting on the front, I did go in with that same length hair for the front, so the longest um, 27 piece here and I only took three tracks and I just went at a curve to kind of curve and cover up the side tracks if that makes sense so we kind of closing up the sides so I'm just taking three of this shorter hair um, for the front and then I'm gonna go in with my longer hair Okay, so I'm going in with that same brand. I'm also using blonde, an 8 inch, and a, the black, and a 10 inch. So the black here, I'm going in and I'm curving it around the front to cover those um, side tracks as well because we're closing it up. So with the blonde here, I wanted a peekaboo of color. So I'm just doing two same size tracks just in the front on the side. And then on the other side, I went in with the black and I'm just still trying to cover those tracks on the side to close this up. And then once I finished doing that, I finished it off with the black hair. And remember, you want to keep curving it and covering them tracks up. But I did go ahead and made myself a closure because I didn't want to use the closure that came with the 27 piece. So once I went ahead and flattened it with my flat irons. I just went in here and closed it up. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to make your closure, let me know in the comment section below because I got you. But once we went ahead and did that, I used my uh, flat irons to flatten it up so it looks seamless. And now we're just combing it out and then I'm going to section off the front part, the one that I'm going to leave alone because we don't want to cut those with the cl um, clippers, guys, because we're going to be mad, okay? So I did make sure I had a one-inch guard on my clippers before I started cutting and you just want to continue to cut. Um, I did want the back to have a little bit of layers so it kind of like goes into the back, if that makes sense. But I just went in with my clippers and then I just cleaned up my corners uh, and make sure that I had them sharp points with my scissors so they can go around my ear. Okay. 
Okay, guys, once I got done shaping up the sides, I went ahead and started to razor the top part. Um, it is super thick, so I'm really kind of trying to thin it out just a little bit as well as um, make it shorter. I want a lot of the blonde to be showing. So now you see me notching it because I still want to be able to see. So I'm just pretty much cleaning it up. And that's what you see me doing now. I don't want the size too long. I still want to be able to see how short the sides are. If that makes sense. Like the top part, I want them to be shorter on the sides where I'm working at. Because I want my size where I cleaned up and shaped it up. I want that to still kind of show. I hope I'm making sense. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm pulling this straight up because I need layers. We need a lot of layers, so that's what we're doing now. We're just pulling it up, and we also going to notch it. And then once you went ahead and shaped it in the way that you want, you're going to go ahead and just bump it. Um, I'm kind of bumping it at an angle because I kind of want that little kind of messy look. I don't want it to look like a bang. I kind of want it to look like super messy in that front area. And I want a lot of the blonde to show. I'm going to clean up this side right now because it's too long on the sides and I need the shape to show. Hey guys, so this is what the front part is looking like once I went ahead and cut it and shaped it up. And now we're working on the back. I'm just going to go in add some spiral curls and I am using my um, Babyliss Titanium um, flat irons to do those curls. And I'm curling it away from my face. Okay, guys, this is what it's looking like once I went ahead and curled the back um, and fixed the front in the way I want it. Um, I'm about to turn around and let you guys see the back really quick. Okay, right, guys, so this is the back. This is what it's looking like. I did go ahead and cut off that little red string that I seen. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much how your girl got her mullet. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And guys, I don't be having no ideas on what to do. So I don't want to keep posting like the same type of video. So if you guys have any suggestions that y'all want to see, any hairstyles that y'all want to see, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So I can have like a little more content so I can like keep posting guys because... I be running out of ideas and I be doing everybody else here, but it seems like I be doing the same style over and over again. So, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions that you want to see, definitely comment below and I will see you guys later.